as you know, in the Ministry of Budget and National Planning, the Ministry of Budget and National Planning is charged, among others, with the responsibility for, you know, development partnership co coordination in Nigeria, donor coordination efforts. And so, we'd like to use this opportunity also to thank all of the development partners who work with Anambra State, and indeed will work with Nigeria at large for your strong support our goals of development and enjoin you to keep doing what you do already and to do even more. Once again, Your Excellency, congratulations for all of the good work uh, and all the good news that we hear about your work in Anambra State. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Pastor Ben Akadeze. Each time the discussion is on economic development and you have Dr. Pastor Ben Akadeze, you can be sure that he'll do it with the tenacity of a teacher, which he is, and also, if you like, the passion and dogmatism of a Pentecostal pastor, which he is too. Please put your hands together for him. Please, if you want to follow us on this program, I will implore you to go via this hashtag, hash ANDP Summit 17. Hash ANDP Summit 17. Your Excellency, with your permission at this juncture, let me invite this woman of substance, former Deputy Governor of Lagos State, now SSA to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on SDG, Your Excellency, Princess. Please put your hands together for her, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Anambra State, Chief Dr. Wele Obiano the chief convener of this very important event. The deputy governor of Anambra State and uh, their mother, the former governor of Anambra State, Chief Mrs. Etiaba, former governors, and former deputy governors. Very distinguished development partners, royal fathers, members of Anambra State Executive Council, head of government and interministerial gov uh, agencies of government, captain of the industry, civil society organization, the private sector, and other very distinguished guests, members of the press. I am highly honored to be here today to join the government of Anambra State to welcome our development partners and other stakeholders in our quest to achieve sustainable development goals in Nigeria. Development, sustainable development goals is about the people, is about peace, is about prosperity, is about planet, and it's about making life more meaningful to everyone and make a world a better place for all of us. This is a very important agenda that the world has adopted 
and the, gov pre uh, the government of Nigeria under the leadership of President Muhammad Buhari joined the rest of the world in 2015 to sign for implementation of sustainable development goals in Nigeria. Nigeria, being the leader of Africa, is also coordinating for our continent to ensure that Nigeria, Africa, and the world achieve sustainable development goals. This global agenda comes in three dimensions to make it very simple for our understanding. Goal one to six talks about social development and unfinished business of MDGs. Goal seven to 12 talks about economic development and goal 13 to 17 talked about environment and climate change. With the three, you get to understand what SDG is all about. It's about you, it's about me, and it's about everyone. I am happy, and I want to congratulate also the government of Anambra State for hosting this, this summit, very important summit, and bringing together our very important stakeholder, the major stakeholder, the development partners. Unlike the MDG, which is government-driven, SDG will be driven by government, the development partners, the private sector, and other civil society organizations, academia, and other stakeholders. Each and every one of us have a role to play and to ensure that we create awareness to every part of Nigeria so that we don't leave anyone behind. The slogan of SDG is leaving no one behind. And if you are not going to leave anyone behind, all hands must be on deck to ensure that we coordinate everyone to ensure that together we can achieve SDG in Nigeria. The Ministry of Budget and National Planning headed by the Honorable Minister, which my brother, Pastor Ben, is also a member, has mainstream SDG international planning. And what we are doing at the moment with UNDP, and I must thank UNDP sincerely for their collaboration. They are collaborating with our office to ensure that SDG is mainstream and domesticated at the sub-national level. So I'm happy with the government of Anambra State being the second to organize the mainstreaming of SDG. We are working with other states, and we have had the sign-off of about 10 states now, trying to work with us to ensure that the mainstream SDG into the state plan and we are going to go to the local government. Everybody in Nigeria must know about SDG. They must contribute to SDG, attainment of SDG, and they must benefit what SDG is all about. I will be presenting a paper very soon on the development partner roles and responsibility in achieving SDG in Nigeria. I thank you for coming to Anambra State and joining the government of Anambra State for this wonderful event. SDG is important to you and to me. I want you to think SDG, to act SDG, to love SDG, and to dream SDG so that we don't leave anyone behind. I thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Please, a round of applause for her. Well, when she said that Nambra is the second state to do this, I was a bit uncomfortable. We normally come first. Maybe there's something we, we were planning our own before they did their own. Thank you very much, though, Madam 
which is time I listen to her, makes bold to say that what a man 